In this video, we'll learn about one of the most underrated flows in your Klaviyo account. I rarely see stores using it, yet it has been generating revenue consistently for our clients. The site abandonment flow, which targets a very specific segment of your customers that simply haven't done anything. And when I say anything, I mean anything. They haven't browsed a product or even a category page, nor have they added any products to their cart or even started a checkout. They just landed on your site and bounce right out. But they did land on your site. And in this video, you learn how to engage with those site abandoners and add more profits to your bottom line. And if you stick until the end of this video, we'll give you an exclusive look into our very own agency doc containing a step-by-step -step checklist to optimally set up this flow. Top performing emails you can swipe to grab some inspo for your flow. A bunch of subject lines and preview texts and so much more. But before diving into the ins and outs, make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe for more Klaviyo tutorials. For those of you who are new to this channel and this series, hi, I'm Nate and I run Savio Agency. And this video you're watching is part of our free masterclass, where I'll be sharing the simple tactics that made our clients millions in email and SMS marketing revenue. Ready to dive deeper? All the video lessons are just a click away. You'll find a link in the description box or you can hit this card right there. How does the site abandonment flow fit in your customer journey? Let me first explain where the site abandonment flow fits in your customer journey. Going back to our lovely graphic showing your e-commerce store funnel, as you can see, it's right at the top of their customer journey. This means your store will have more visitors that land on your site than subscribers who view a product, add something to their cart, or start a checkout process. This gives us a great opportunity to capitalize on this traffic by adding this flow to your Klaviyo account. But you may be wondering where this traffic comes from anyway. Perhaps from a sleek retargeting ads you ran or from an email campaign that you sent to their inbox. They simply clicked whatever it is you sent them, land on your site and bounce right off it. By the way, you can check on the exact amount of site visitors by going to your metrics tab and checking the activity feed under active on site. How to set up your site abandonment flow. Now here's how to set up the site abandonment flow in Klaviyo. Once inside Klaviyo, navigate to the Flow tab. Click on Create Flow. Next, we'll select the trigger. Go to Metric and pick Active on Site. Time to set up the filters. Click on the Filter Square, then Flow Filters. Add a filter. Make sure to have these five active. Viewed product zero times since starting this flow. Place order zero times since starting this flow. Checkout started zero times since starting this flow has not been in this flow at any time. The last part is intended to ensure that user receive this flow only once and not every time they land on the site. We'll elaborate more on that in just a bit. To see who fits the criteria for these emails, click on preview trigger setup. If they don't meet all your flow filters, it means no email for them. After setting the filters, let's add our first email. Set a time delay before sending an email so it's not right on the nose for your potential buyers. In this case, two hours is more than enough for the first email to trigger. But as always, you'd wanna make sure you test your time delay to find the optimal sending time for your store. If you'd like to learn more about A-B testing, we'll provide a step-by-step -step guide inside of our internal doc, along with email examples, subject line, and preview text ideas to get you up and running with this flow in record time, coming up at the end of this video. Final tip, you'll also want to turn off smart sending like we did for the welcome series. Now that the framework is taken care of, it's time to move on to the content. Here's where the bonus I promised comes in. Take a look at our internal guide to site abandonment success with real examples from top brands, subject line and preview text suggestions to entice more opens and guidelines to what you should include in your emails. For our first email, this should go differently depending on your product or service. Let's take a look at a few examples here. Your email can link to products they might have missed, but might be interested in. You can also link to a blog post that gives a better overview of your product or service. You can use some humor, include a survey to ask for feedback on what they were looking for, or maybe even offer a special deal or suggestions. Now keep in mind, if you suddenly got an email from a store's website where you really did nothing, that would be a bit weird, wouldn't it? So as a starting point, keep it to one email for this flow to prevent unnecessary unsubscribes. It's possible to add more emails, but it all depends on the data you get back. If your first email got an open rate of 20% or higher, then it's safe to go ahead and add an additional email. And that's it for the site abandonment flow series. 
It's a very simple flow you can go ahead and set up today but the result can be game-changing for your store and email marketing strategy. Now, if you've been following along from the beginning, you've successfully set up your welcome flow to nurture new subscribers and the site abandonment flow to entice casual site visitors. But what happens when they view a product, which is your next step in your e-commerce store funnel? Check out our next video to meet another flow that will consistently rank among your top five revenue generators. Discover the magic of dynamic blocks and complete the next step in your pre-purchase automation setup with the browse abandonment flow. If you found this video helpful, this is part of our comprehensive SMS and email marketing masterclass. It's 100% free. I'll put a link down in the description. Go ahead and check it out right now. Please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more Klaviyo tips and tutorials. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.